Hello, everyone. It's Jimmy Wynn, founding president of Bitcoin Association, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2021 Bitcoin SV DevCon, the developer conference that we host to help educate developers across the world of all experience levels about the power of building on the BSV blockchain. Bitcoin SV is Bitcoin, a blockchain and digital currency for everyone, everywhere, and everything. There's immense power in the protocol, and you'll learn all about that today. I have with me our host for the developer conference, Steve Shatters, who will introduce in a little bit. But Steve, say hi. Hi, everyone. Steve, for mo all of you who out there who know him, is the Chief Technology Officer at NChain and is also the Chair of the Technical Standards Committee for BSV at the Bitcoin Association. And he's also the Technical Director of the Bitcoin SV Infrastructure Team that manages the Node software and many of the free tools that are provided to help all of you out in the ecosystem build with BSV infrastructure. We're having a promotion throughout the uh, developer conference during the breaks where we are going to be giving away airdrops where you can win $1 worth of BSV, one US dollar worth of BSV through our QR code that will appear on screen. You can only get one per person that will be available to get to your hand cash wallet. If you don't have a hand cash wallet, it will take you to the place to get one. In addition, CoinGeek Zurich is coming up, one of our two big CoinGeek events every year that we partner with CoinGeek's media and event team to run. It's the leading business conference for Bitcoin SV. It's based out of Zurich this time, June 8th, 9th, and 10th. It is free to register. It'll be appearing virtually across the world in another broadcast style event with some people in person in Zurich. Go to coingeekconference.com in order to register. Please join us for what will be a powerful event as we learn how to ignite the power of data. Now, Steve, we'll turn it over to you to give us an overview of what will be happening over the next two days here at DevCon. Thanks, Jimmy, and welcome to the application uh, developers in the room. Uh, you guys are the first layer consumers of the, uh, the network services that are provided by the Bitcoin miners. And as application developers, your, your fundamental task is to build transactions and package them up in uh, new, useful, interesting and creative ways so that you can best deliver value to the users of, uh, of your services. And that's what the next two days is primarily going to be about. We're going to be uh, showcasing a whole lot of different tools uh, that can help you uh, in, in achieving that task. Um, the tooling ecosystem in Bitcoin SV is always growing. Uh, there's always something that's still missing uh, that would just make life a little bit easier if it was there, but uh, perhaps that's even a gap that, uh, that some of you can fill. Um, but there already is a lot there uh, and, and it's growing all of the time. So just a quick summary of how we're going to do things over the next couple of days. Um, there are going to be a number of presentations uh, on each day and I'll get to what some of the content of those presentations is going to be shortly, uh, followed by a live Q&A session uh, with the presenter. Um, so you'll see there's a, uh, a question and answer box on the, um, on the screen that you're probably watching on. Uh, you don't need to wait until the end of the presentation. You can type in your questions at any time uh, and they'll all be queued up so that uh, I'll be able to read them out um, to the presenter at the end of that presentation. If there are uh, questions that we don't have time for uh, that go unanswered, um, we'll, we'll be giving the questions offline to the, to the presenters so that they can um, uh, give you a written response and uh, we'll be publishing those uh, for you. So don't worry, we'll get to all of the questions one way or another. Um, so a quick summary of what we're going to talk about. Uh, well, we've got a lot of content uh, over the next couple of days. Uh, on the wallet side, we're going to be hearing from Handcash, Dot Wallet, and Electrum SV, uh, all of whom have uh, SDKs uh, to show off. Um, they all uh, solve, well, some of them solve similar problems, but uh, some of them are quite different. Uh, Electrum SV, for example, is a, is a, uh, a development environment that uh, is useful even if you're not using Electrum itself. 
there's a lot of tooling around. Uh, we'll be hearing from the, um, uh, the Bitcoin SV Academy uh, education team. Uh, they'll be telling you a bit about what they're doing and um, how you can make use of the Academy to uh, upskill yourself. Um, we'll have some people from Enchain who'll be showing some of the Bitcoin infrastructure tools as well as uh, some interesting different ways that you can, you can build transactions. Uh, and then we'll be hearing from Aaron Russell at uh, Kronos Labs, and I'm actually not sure which uh, tool he's going to be showing. Uh, they have been very prolific in building a lot of tools. Uh, the first one I noticed was called TX Forge, uh, which is a library to basically help you construct transactions, which was um, uh, a one of a kind, I think, uh, at the time when it came out. But uh, who knows what uh, new things Aaron has been working on. And then we might get to some of the more wacky and esoteric stuff. Uh, Jawe from Escript is going to be telling us uh, about the ins and outs of off push TX and the fantastically powerful ways that, um, that 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 technique can be used. And we're going to hear from Fix, also known as Chronoverse, uh, on um, uh, well under the hood with uh, with, with crypto fights, but uh, also some interesting tooling that will be available to you to make use of. And of course, at the end of today, we're going to have a fireside chat uh, with uh, none other than Dr. Craig Wright. Uh, I'll be hosting that. Uh, it'll be a virtual fire this time because we're in different cities, but um, I'll be delving into some of the um, uh, reasons why certain technical decisions were made uh, in Bitcoin. Uh, so that should be uh, an interesting conversation. So we are going to kick off at 20 past the hour with our first presentation. <clears throat> there might be a short break in, in between some of the presentations, by the way, just uh, so that we stay on schedule. Um, um, but uh, while we're waiting, I might just take a moment to talk a little bit about the uh, Bitcoin SV 1.08 beta release that happened a couple of days ago along with a companion release, uh, MAPI 1.3. Uh, and there's a few sort of notable features. I will be actually talking about some of those uh, in my own presentation, along with Matei uh, Trampush, the engineering director of, uh, of uh, Enchain, uh, which I believe this, I think that is happening tomorrow morning. Um, <clears throat> But uh, just briefly, some of the features, uh, the, uh, the ancestor limit that, uh, that has probably been the top of the agenda for, for the last two years. We made first steps in improving uh, that uh, in 1.07 back in January. Uh, there have been some challenges in um, getting that rolled out. And I'll, we'll take a moment to kind of explain some of the uh, reasoning behind that. Uh, first things first is that uh, the accounting mechanism that's used to work out how long a chain actually is uh, can work in a number of different ways. Um, and if you're trying to attack uh, simple chains of transactions where you just have one following the other following the other, um, then the optimal and easiest to implement algorithm is different to if you're trying to address uh, uh, complex graphs of transactions. Um, so in the 107 release, we elected for the simple option because we knew that the majority of uh, use cases for it uh, did address, uh, did, did use that, that simple mechanism uh, rather than making everybody wait another five months uh, for us to implement the more complex version. Of course, the other complication is uh, is adoption. Uh, when you raise the limit to a thousand, uh, that's uh, people I think tend to assume that means a thousand every block. That will work if every single miner has has adopted that. But if, for example, only twenty percent of the hash rate uh, have actually adopted the upgrade, um, that means that only one in every uh, five blocks is able to to take the the full limit. So that actually reduces the effective rate. But in this version of it, uh, Bitcoin SV, we've not only implemented the, um, the accounting mechanism uh, that can handle the complex graphs, we've also increased the limit to 10,000. Um, so that will help uh, substantially. Um, we actually think that we probably could push it a lot higher, but um, uh, just out of an abundance of caution, we're doing a little bit more testing uh, first, but uh, I can tell you that it's absolutely on the roadmap possibly even in the next release to strip the, uh, the limit out altogether. Um, a couple of other features, uh, dust return transactions, which I'll tell you about in a lot more detail uh, when I uh, present with Matei. 
um, and uh, an update to the way that double spend notifications work, which uh, Mate will be telling you uh, about. Um, I'm particularly excited about this one because I believe that this uh, is the last missing piece of the puzzle to make Bitcoin SV 100% zero conf safe. Um, so more detail on that from Mate, I won't steal his thunder. So we're just going to take a short break now, uh, just for five minutes and at 20 past the hour, we will be back uh, with a presentation from the Bitcoin SV Academy. Thank you.